to the north of us, to the northwest of us. Uh, sorry, to the. Oh, look! No, don't look there. Look there. Don't look at the weather. Look at the jackal. That's much more interesting. I was about to say there's a reason that we need to start running for home, but it's far more interesting to watch the jackal as it picks its way slowly, carefully, and bravely towards the wildebeest carcass. I know this jackal. I have seen the pair of them. They live around here. I've seen them pretty much every single day. I want to find their den site. And I've seen one of them nearly get caught by a lion. You checking up in the tree to see there's no lions there? That's a clever approach. Or no vultures, perhaps. Come on, you could do it. He's fast asleep. I promise you, he won't even notice. He really won't even care. That's not true, of course. He might get up and chase the jackal away just because, even though he doesn't want to eat. What is in the tree that that jackal keeps looking up at? Nothing. Just making sure. Come on. You could do it. It's okay. He's asleep. There's <laughs> the tail in the way. Drat. That wasn't very determined of you. This is why jackals manage as well as they do. Combination of caution and bravery. Monique, I don't think the jackal has pups because I think we would have found the den by now. But I do think it's a possibility in the future that we could actually have a jackal den site somewhere where we can actually show you what jackal pups look like. That would be absolute first prize. I would love to be able to show you jackal puppies. They are so fluffy and so sweet. I can't work out what it is that's making this jackal nervous in the tree. If it's just the fact that it's blowing in the wind, if the, there is a stick that is dead that looks like it might fall on its head. But I don't doubt that that's what's worrying it. Lion moved. And Jackal did too. <laughs> Me? No, no. I wasn't sniffing your food, no. Got the wrong guy. I was just... Oh, okay, you're back to sleep again. Okay, maybe... Maybe I can go and steal a little bit of food. Not worth the risk. Or is it? <laughs> James, I'm happy to hear that you're happy. You've had leopard, now you've had a jackal. Jackal trying to sneak up on the, the lion. Why are you... No, you silly twit. That's the lion. You don't want to go there. And just checking that he's fast asleep. He's asleep, I promise. Okay, we, we're gonna have to start running home. Unfortunately, the gate's going to close shortly and there is a storm rapidly approaching us. The wind is now picking up. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, we're going to have to leave the tale of the jackal and the lion for another Aesop Fable Day. We'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Um, for now, I'll say farewell, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your sunset safari with a Byron and Tristan.